this class let us see how to assemble or disassemble a PC. So this is a CPU called as a central processing. So first, what are the tools required is you require a star screwdriver to remove these tools. To remove these tools, use this screwdriver to remove these tools. of the CPU. So here this is called as a motherboard, this is called as a hard disk, this is the processor, and this is called as a heat sink, this is called as SMPS, called as a switched mode power supply. And these are the fans which are used to cool the CPU. So first let us see how to and this is the RAM. This is the RAM. So first let us see, first let us uh, remove these power connections. So see this is an, called as an SMPS called as a switched mode uh, power supply. So these are the connections. So to remove these connections first we will uh, remove this hard disk. So this is the power connection. And this is the data cable or we call this as a SATA cable. And this is power to the motherboard right these are the power supply to the motherboard so now what I had done is I had removed all the power supply connections so these are the data cables which are used uh, uh, to connect uh, uh, to this particular uh, this is the on off button here so this particular on off button is connected to the motherboard so I am just removing those cables now so this is the audio connection so this is the USB USB is are the things which you are seeing here this is the power supply this is the on off button these are the usb pins and these two pins are called as a mic another one is for the earphones now i am removing the door also so now let us see how to remove this particular hard disk so here there is a screw Removing these screws simply you can remove this. right. Next, coming to the motherboard parts here, what you can see is so these are the USB ports so totally you will be having 6 
uh, five, uh, six USB ports. And this is the cable which you are going to connect for the uh, internet. And this is called as the Ethernet cable where you are going to connect uh, CAT5 or CAT6 cables. And here you can see three different color uh, pins. One is for mic, another one is for earphones, another one is for the lining. That is, if you want to record a song from a CD player or a tape recorder, you can directly connect it here. And these pins, these two pins are uh, called as, a, uh, this is used for keyboard and this is used for mouse connection. And these are, uh, this is called as a VGA port. This VGA port is used to connect to the monitor. So these complete pins which are uh, visible here, these are called as, these are used to connect it for the I/O ports. I/O ports means we call it as the input output ports, where you can connect a printer, you can connect a scanner, you can connect a mouse, you can connect a keyboard. So this is called as a serial port. This is in, this one and this one. This is called as a serial ports. So these serial ports are used to connect for the printers. If you want to print the data using an automatic printer, we are going to use connect it with the serial ports. So coming to this particular motherboard, so this is the RAM. This is the RAM. Here you are going to have the two grooves. So if I to remove this particular RAM, what you need to do is you need to move these grooves like this. So this RAM will come like this. So this is a RAM. So this RAM is called as a random access memory, which is temporarily used to store the data. So to fit this particular RAM. Check the group here. We will have two slots. We will have two slots. Uh, in one slot, you can insert this particular RAM. Another slot is used for expansion. Suppose uh, today we are having 4 GB of RAM. Tomorrow, if you want to expand it to 8 GB RAM, simply buy a new RAM. You can directly insert here, and if you press like this, it will fit. And coming to this. Uh, motherboard this is called as a heat sink so where the intel processor will be there this processor will be uh, kept here onto this particular processor you will have a heat sink which is used for uh, cooling to cool this particular heat sink you are going to uh, have a fan here and this is called as a agp slot agp slot called as a advanced graphic port so this particular advanced graphic port is used to connect any external video device suppose if you want to use like uh, any 3d applications 3d if you want to play 3d games you are going to connect a uh, video card here and if you require any kind of external sound system like 5.1 music system here you are going to insert another pci card like a sound card which is used to, uh, to play uh, sound effects and all and this is a cable this cable is called as a SATA cable. It's a single layered cable which is mainly used to connect the hard disk. So the data which will be transferred from the hard disk to the motherboard by using a cable and this cable is called as a SATA 